Hi there, it's DriveY DIY here. Just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, car safety when you're jacking your car up. This is more so for uh, Vox or Severa, but can work on any car, obviously. Uh, got this coronavirus going around. I'm in isolation, have been for two weeks. Uh, lots of people around in isolation, apart from you brilliant key workers and national health uh, frontliners, your, your stars, mate. You, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't know what we do without you. Uh, but obviously, when you've got more time at home, you've got more time to be working on your car and catching up with some of these jobs that you've probably put off because we've all been working hard, blah, blah, blah. So one of the things that's going to escalate is DIYs on the driveway, especially with the better weather coming, under their car. Uh, I just want to emphasise the need to use axle stands, good jacks, wheel chocks, things like that. So I'm uh, just going to take you through my kit for it before I take you up to uh, jack up my Severa. Uh, so what I've got here, this is from Halfords, uh, it's a three ton jack, uh, works very very well, I always go for three ton because the, obviously the lower weight you go you're not sure whether your uh, car is going to uh, take it, but I need to emphasise again, don't just work underneath a jack with a jack supporting your car because you, like most jacks in people's garages they never service, no one looks after them properly and you don't know how stable they're going to be, whether they're going to leak and the car's going to end up falling on top of you. So you need your axle stands. I've got two good ones from here. I've got these from Sealy, but you know, they're, they're reputable, they're good. Uh, I've used them quite a bit now. I've done a couple of videos which I'll put links in the description on, uh, on them. Uh, these are the ratchet type, easy release. Uh, always use them. And find the safety points on your car to make sure that they're uh, not just going to pop through the floor or anything like that when you uh, when you actually do it. You know, don't use uh, fragile components. Don't you know put them under gearboxes and things like that. You need to find the proper proper jacket points. So when your car's up in the in the sky, always make sure you've got some uh, decent wheel chocks. I mean, you can use anything really. You can use wood, blocks, bricks, anything. That will just stop the car from rolling back if, if there's an issue with what you're doing. So uh, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, when you're working on your car, use some cardboard to lie on. Use some matting. I've got some. I bought some gym matting, which is great for using. I was lying underneath that. You don't want to get cold back. Get cold back. You end up with a bad back. Uh, so yeah, this is what I've got, uh, and this I'm going to show you how I use it. This is the front, jacking up the front, very similar to the back. So this point here is the strongest point you car for jacking. So just underneath, you can see the lip there. If you're putting your jack at the front and putting your right axle at the axle stand at the back, uh, there are points underneath as well. But for your basic DIY, uh, lifting the car, changing the tire, brake job, things like that, you need to be at this point of the car. So, gonna lift the car. And obviously you need to bear in mind when you're working on hills. So, see, look, there's nothing, it's not popping into the wings or anything like that, it's not damaging the sill. So, so underneath, put your axle stand there. Right, I'm going to put my uh, camera on a tripod. So right back out here. So we've lifted the car up. Strongest point, lifting the axle stands up as well. Always consult your uh, manual for this, obviously with different cars comes different uh, strength points, uh, different sort of processes, stuff like that. Uh, consult your manual for the strongest points underneath the car, where to prop it up on the axles and all that sort of thing at the back. Same as the back, but you know, keep this stuff real 
the last thing you want is the uh, car falling on you when you're working and ambulance something to come out and save you especially at this point time of life with all this coronavirus going on the last thing they want to do is come and bail you out under a crushed car because you didn't didn't consult the right processes for jacking up your car so just going to drop it right I'm going to drop the uh, car on the axle stands there we go that's on it as well so you can see <coughs> it's on the uh, strongest point uh, supported by both jack and axle stands and then rear the tyre to stop there's good chances wherever the gradient is use so if there is a fall it's going to roll forward hopefully that will stop it and you're doing as much as you can and this is my setup for me jacking up on the driveway you can use uh, if you're doing anything significant underneath like exhaust systems stuff like that perhaps use uh, ramps I've done a ramps video stick it I'll stick it in the link in the description so uh, that's pretty much what I use I mean you can go for more into it but for your DIYs doing brake jobs and a bit of working underneath and stuff like that use your jack use your axle stands taking your tire off put your tire off put it underneath the car use anything underneath the car that can stop it falling on top of you because you're paramount at this point and there ain't a lot of help out there to get you out if it goes wrong so uh, just bear in mind and this is on a Zavira as well Fox Hill Zavira but it does work for obviously for other cars as well consult your manuals stuff like that so hopefully this work helps you gives you a bit of a better insight for jacking your car up and being safe at this time of for uh, of this uh, emergency and time especially when you've got time on your hands thanks for watching Keep safe out there.